Have you ever wondered if your paging file size in Windows 10 or Windows 11 is set up the right way? If it's not, it can really drag down your system performance, but if it's set correctly, it can actually give your PC an instant boost. In this video, I'm going to show you the best paging file size for different RAM setups, whether you're on 2GB, 4GB, 8GB, or even 16GB of RAM. So, don't skip around, watch till the end, because this tweak can make a big difference for your system. Now, to get into the settings, here's what you do. Click on the Windows search bar, type sysdm.cpl and press enter. Once the system properties window pops up, head over to the advanced tab. Under the performance section, click on settings. A new window will open. Again, go to the advanced tab at the top. At the bottom, you'll see virtual memory. This is where Windows manages something called the paging file, which is basically a chunk of your hard drive or SSD that gets used as extra RAM whenever your actual RAM is running low. Think of it like a backup. When your RAM usage shoots past 90%, Windows borrows some storage space and uses it as temporary memory. It's an old feature, but super useful when your system starts choking under heavy load. The trick though is setting it up the right way. Do it wrong and your PC might actually get slower. Do it right and you'll notice a nice performance boost. Now, to make changes, click on Change. By default, you'll see Automatically manage paging file size for all drives checked. If you've got a lot of RAM, say 16GB, 24GB or even 32GB, you can just leave it on automatic. Windows will handle it for you and you'll be fine. But if you're running a smaller setup, say 2GB, 4GB, 8GB, or if your memory usage often jumps above 70 to 80%, then it's better to uncheck the automatic option and switch to custom size. Now, this is where people usually get confused. What values should you actually enter for the initial size and maximum size? A lot of guides suggest using Microsoft's formula, 1.5 times your RAM for the initial size and three times for the maximum. Personally, that doesn't always make sense, and it really depends on your system. Here's a simpler way. First, check how much physical RAM you have installed. To do this, open Task Manager, go to the Performance tab, and look under Memory. For example, on my system, it shows 12.1 gigabytes. Let's say you have 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, or 12 gigabytes. It doesn't matter. Just take your number, and multiply it by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. That number will be your initial size. Then, for the maximum size, multiply that same number by 1.5. For example, if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, after the calculation, you'll get your exact initial size, and multiplying it by 1.5 will give you the maximum size you should set. After you enter the values, click Set, and you'll see them listed for your drive. Once you click OK, Windows will likely prompt you to restart your computer. If you get that restart message, that's your confirmation that the new settings have been applied correctly. And that's it. I've now set up the paging file properly on my Windows system, and you can do the same on your system. So that's all for today, guys. Hopefully, this clears up any confusion, and now you know exactly how to set the right paging file size on Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you still have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.